rise of quant curve very often questions appeared from this lesson in competitive examinations like ca ugc net set etc hence this lesson care has been taken to specify the area in which multiple choice questions are asked at the end of the head finer points we shall dive into the lesson now a producer uses two factors to produce a product they are labor and capital he combines a few units of labor with a few units of capital and produces a given level of output say 100 units he produces the same level of output by altering the quantities of labor and capital he tabulates a few combinations they are a b c d and e combination a contains 1 unit of labor and 12 units of capital 2 units of labor and 8 units of capital are there in combination b similarly combinations c d and e comprise of 3 units of labor and 5 units of capital 4 units of labor and 3 units of capital and 5 units of labor and 2 units of capital respectively all the combinations are capable of producing the same level of output 100 units let us represent this table in the form of a graph first plot the points a b c d and e join all the points with a smooth curve the curve you get is called isoquant curve let us name it as iq isoquant is a downward sloping curve as the producer slides down from left to right he substitutes labor for capital he replaces a few units of capital with a few units of labor when he gives up a few units of capital output decreases when he uses labor in the place of capital output increases for example to begin with the producer is at point a he combines one unit of labor with 12 units of capital he produces 100 units of output he moves down to point b he reduces the capital by 4 units he has only 8 units of capital now with the reduction in capital the output falls by 10 units but he increases the labor by 1 unit it in turn increases the output by 10 units the fall in output 10 units is exactly matched by the increase in output 10 units so when the producer moves down from point a to b along the curve the total output remains the same level that is 100 units what is true between points a and b is equally applicable and true between any two points along the curve at last we shall understand isoquant curve like this isoquant curve is one which consists of number of combinations of two factors which are technically and equally efficient capable of producing the same level of output okay now the finer points one there are a number of combinations of labor and capital on an isoquant two drop in output due to decrease in the quantity of capital is offset by a rise in output due to increase in quantity of labor 3 so all the combinations are capable of producing the same level of output 4 these combinations are technically and equally efficient 5 all the combinations are equally preferable to the producer 6 hence 
the producer is unable to prefer one combination over another combination along the same isocont curve. 7. That is why this curve is called as production indifference curve. 8. The other names of the isocont curve are isoproduct curve, equal product curve. Well, our discussion ends here. We shall meet in the next video lesson.